you're here for an SMC program. Something must change. You can't keep doing this. Yeah. What I've learned about myself, about areas I can improve on, it, it's exciting because I know that I can, can work really hard on, on getting them right and it's been a really important week to build up to where we are now. I'm just really excited to, to get into that, that field stuff next week. Yeah, so we finished week one Friday afternoon and we headed up to New York. Obviously last week was really busy, a lot of work got done and it was really nice to get away and enjoy a couple of days up there. We're in New York City, baby. How good? I don't know if that's a good shot, Freddy. Dark, turn around. I don't know how that's going to turn out. So it was a really cool experience for me and got a bit of a chance to take a head away from training and recoup for next week. Yeah, so we went to the Flyers game on Sunday night, uh, coming back down from, from New York and kind of rolled in there and you know, caught up with the Vice President of Athletic Performance and kind of let us know that I'd be what they call banging the drum, which is their pre-game ritual and there's a lot of fans there and I didn't really want to, want to stuff it up, but... Yeah, so Monday rolled around back in the training. I was quite excited after the weekend. and We're getting really close. We'll start on the blue floor. Let's get some shapes in, all right? We'll go right through a litany of all those things. And everything now is becoming warm-up strategies. Yes. Whereas initially they're strength strategies. Yeah. Now they're becoming just, they're just coming preparation. Started off with all the mobility exercises and then worked on a few specific drills that I've identified that I need to work on. Very good. Okay. Front leg, back leg, double leg, switch. Got through that type of stuff and started progressing into quicker, higher velocity movements on the blue mat. Enjoy sometimes that little deeper position, all right? Because you have the strength and you feel good being being right there, all right? It almost feels more stable, yeah. Yeah, it almost feels more stable. But it also be such become a little squishy, yeah. and it's also a little deep to be fast yeah. to get out of, all right? So careful with that one, okay? So same again. Look at the length of my steps. There, tuck. There. So something must change and we have a path forward for him. And so what we expect to see is just a guy that has just some good pop and a newfound freedom of movement and confidence to be healthy. Monday of week 
two. Yeah. Best session. Yeah. Best session. Uh -huh. Little rest or relaxation you had, but you thought about stuff, you've seen some things. Best session. Uh -huh. All those same drills that we just did here on the blue floor, yeah. we're gonna repeat them again, but they'll be done also with boots on. Yeah. Right? And yeah. now it's just different, it's more purposeful, and boom, 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 boom. it always yeah. keeps coming, okay? I'm ready for the day. I get to run on the turf. We want to have a sesh, we want to get onto the grass. Yep. All right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take um, all of the strategies that we've been building on last week, this week, right. and you're kind of ticking a lot of boxes, right? Yep. You're starting to sequence, things are coming back together again. Yeah. We'll start connecting the resistance cord exercises to yep. why we do those. You're not opening it up. That's not our goal, meaning we're not trying to get to max velocity. And um, yeah, it's like, again, it's technical work and so forth, okay? Uh, we're about to run on this artificial grass. Very excited, we've earned the right. Bend to the head, good, push down. Good. So you were picking it up, picking it up. Yeah. I'm pushing away. Push away. Stop. Okay? Getting closer. Watch my foot and ankle. That stiffness right there. Right there. Get that. Establish that. Good. Bend at the ankle. Keep going. Bend at the ankle. Good. Bend at the ankle. Get out. One more. Bend at the ankle. Get out. To the other side. Same thing. Yeah, so a big focus for me is pushing to the ground and owning the floor. Point. I've struggled previously with doing that and more. I've lost stability and put a lot of pressure on, on muscles like my hamstring which have you know, overloaded them and caused them to be hurt. So focus for me is being able to push through the floor, owning the ground with stiffness. Good, good. And you know, reduces your chances of injury. So watch the feet and ankle. They stay up. Then they're active right at contact. You mean like the dorsal flex and they bang? They do, yes. It's all the same. Go, cut, cut, cut. Wide up the body, arms. Hold, one, two, release. One more up. Push. Good work, good. Yeah. Push. Yeah, getting back on the turf was really exciting for me. I hadn't done it for a week and a half. It's a bit nervous to get back out there, but you know, once you start moving, you get into it, and you know, it just makes me more hungry to you know, get better. Yes, well done. Yes. Purposeful arms. Well done. Things out, I'm checking things out. And then I'm going. Keep the feet forward, don't turn too early. Look where the ball is. Arm. Right foot. Left foot. Push. Push. Come on, quick. Get on that left. What I look for is what I've seen in, with many of the athletes that have gone back. I look for a purposeful application of the strategies we've put into place to help them move more efficiently as an athlete, also to try to reduce that risk of injury. You can't prevent all injury. There are contact injuries. There's different style of injury, right? What we expect to see is a guy that has a new strategy on change of direction, acceleration, that hopefully reduces the load onto that hamstring. That hamstring has been asked to do too much and it's not fulfilling its task very well because he's had many different injuries. Based off the drills that we've been doing and what we've been focusing on in the gym over the past you know, five, six days, definitely felt more aware on the field about where my feet need to be, you know, where I need to be pushing and where my centre of mass has to be and what, what I'm required to do to, to execute a drill you know, effectively. So it kind of shows the importance of building strong foundations and earning the right to, to get on the field. 
you exaggerate the push. <laughs> Beauty. Down. Fuck. Right? There's, there's some good length. Good length. So that length, that's more realistic length of the back knee. Yeah. It's not always going to be perfectly straight, but you've got to get that freaking right foot down. Snap. Boom. Put it in longer. Boom. Uh, Maybe now you got it just a bit short. That one was long, but that's okay. That's okay. That's all good. All right. Really good. So you can see how we just keep building and changing this by a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're coming and we had to drill with the cones. We were just practicing it. So now you're strong on that kind of first step where you just have to say go. And now you got to get those feet cycling in, right? All right. Let's change it by a little. Let's hold it in. Yes. Yes. Foot is down, knees are matching. But blank. Yeah, we're good. Knees match. And then you got a nice heel lift right there. Right there, good heel lift. Get long. That's it. I'm not wrong. I don't want to be there, obviously. So if I'm trying to get to there. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. If I'm going this way, boom, it's right in there. It's right in there. It's okay. mid foot strike. It's not heavy heel. It's mid foot not, strike. I'm trying to get all, say, points on the ground. Yes, you are. Yeah. More than like six points on your foot. You're trying to get the front four at least. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, my experience with, with him is awesome. Um, he's a very eccentric character. Great to have a laugh with, and uh, you know, you can have a lot of fun with him too, which which makes the training all the more better. You know, we're spending a lot of time with him during the day, so. Can't turn. Why not? Because you can't turn. Don't ever say never. It's like we got there. Yeah. We often play a few games, he played them all before and he tees them up in his favour and often wins them, which is quite annoying, but... Yeah. That's in two, baby! Oh, get in there! We're not keeping scores. Hold that neutral ankle. No! Too late, bro. Hey. You're supposed to push and come up. Oh, sorry, dude. This camp's been awesome. It's, it's given me a lot of confidence and, and it's kind of given me a clear path on, on how I can do that. So. Just not quite there. Not quite there. But I'm going to get it. Lose it. I lose it a bit in here. Get up the inside foot. Go. Nice. Uh, told ya. Feels good. That looks really good, Pete. Looks really good. For me, that's someone that loves process and working through something to reach an end goal. I think this is really beneficial because you know the strategic direction forward, and now I've just got to go out there and put the work in. Boom. Good one, Turbo. Sad times here. Um, just wrapped up last session. Just got a uh, good run through of what we've, we've done. Sad going on tomorrow, but yeah, I learned a lot over the last couple of weeks, so looking forward to bringing it back. Um, we've got a jersey for you, mate. Uh, I think we just want to say a big thank you. Well, I, I know I do. Learn a lot over the past couple of weeks, and um, I can't wait to bring it back and yeah. you know set up that, that long career that what we all want. So yeah, big right. thank you, mate. Uh, Thanks, been awesome. Appreciate been it. Been fun. Yeah, it's been an awesome opportunity and experience. It's something I'll forever be grateful for. Going through this journey, you look at Bill's philosophy of earning the right. You know, you got to earn the right to do everything. And you know, we started in the gym. We had to earn the right to, to train on the field. And for me now, it's, I need to keep working hard to earn the right to you know, get back to playing NRL for Manly at, at a high level. And you know, I'm really looking forward to doing that.